Hey guys, so there's no intro today. I'm gonna be jumping straight into it. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do um, a clean girl makeup, my version of a clean girl makeup look. So first, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer and I'm gonna apply that all over my face. I really do like this primer, guys. I've been using it probably mm, for like a month now. Um, I will say, like I said in my last video, it reminds me so much of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, it's I don't know if it's a dupe or not I think it is but I really like it next up I'm gonna take my LA girl pro concealer um, I don't know the shade but it's a color correcting shade it's probably the only one the only uh, orange color they have um, and I'm gonna put that on like my dark spots and also um, my non-existent but like very subtle peach fuzz um, I just wanted to have like the illusion of clear skin um, and I just feel like if I would have skipped that step like I normally do and just added foundation, it would have just gave me like a cakier finish. So I kind of wanted to help myself out and um, put a little bit of color correcting on before I put very minimal foundation on. Um, that leads me to my next step, which is the Juvia's Place Contour Stick um, Shade Katsina. You guys already know I use this contour stick as foundation because it really works with my skin really well and I'm gonna take some Euphoria setting spray on my foundation brush and I'm gonna wet it and then blend that out um, with my skin and you'll just see like a seamless finish I genuinely feel like if I were to just put that foundation on and go outside I could give off the illusion of having clear skin like that's how good this foundation is or I'm sorry this contour stick is but I use it as foundation right now they do not have this color in stock or the shade I have I don't know if I told you but I have the shade Katsina um, so next up I'll be taking the NARS concealer um, in shade deep too I just bought this concealer it is the best concealer because for one I got it two shades maybe one or two shades lighter than my actual uh, foundation color so it if I were to use this by itself which I'm going to do you you can you can kind of see it you can kind of use it as like a concealer um you wouldn't really tell um it brightens up my under eye just a little bit um and that's what i'm going for uh usually i like to wear that concealer shade and then in the inner corner add like a, a brighter color so maybe three or four shades brighter than my normal concealer color and um blend that all just to kind of have that bright under eye if I'm like going out or if I want to take pictures and want to have like a, a, a super glam look but once again we're going for a clean makeup so it's very minimal it's very um, natural looking and yeah that's the honestly it's not necessarily natural um, once you get to the end it starts to look a little bit like makeup but I think for what I was going for um, it's really good so you can wear this honestly anywhere um, and for any occasion and some people that aren't into makeup might um, even think that you might not have anything on I don't know but um, that's kind of what I was going for the end goal was to have minimal makeup but very nice like a very nice finish um, yeah, so that concealer definitely does that for me. Um, and I'm putting that all over my face, my usual spots. And I'm just going ahead and uh, going in and blending that. Um, as you can see, like I said, it does not really look like I have it on, but it's okay. Next up, guys, I'm going to take my Ben Nye um, Topaz um, powder. And I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder in the shade translucent honey and I'm gonna mix those both and guys remember I don't bake I set the powder in my skin I haven't baked for probably like a year now I, I just it's something about like me playing like I just feel like once I take I decide to bake that's the day I'm gonna have flashback I don't know why I never could really like get behind baking so now I'll just set my uh, powder in my skin so it's like it's not really like you would never get flashback you just won't you're setting it in your skin I don't know how what's the scientific reason behind that but 
that's really just how it how it is um so yeah I never bake always set um and I mix those two colors because um the Ben Nye Topaz if you know you know very old product but it's, it works wonders um it's kind of like a natural shade to me for my skin um and the Laura Mercier is kind of bright so if I mix the two it's literally perfect like it's the perfect shade it doesn't look like I baked at all or yeah whatever um <laughs> next up I'm gonna take like a really cheap like 99 cent pencil and do my brows like I said I really can't tell you how to do your brows because everyone's brow shape is different I can only show you how I do mine and if you have like the same one you could just maybe try to copy it um yeah and I'm, I'm never I'm not an expert on my brows I don't know every time I do my makeup it always looks different so and do with that information as you will um and sometimes i usually cut out the clip like if it's not right and like redo it off camera so guys you can't really take my like advice for brows i'm still trying to learn how to um, do my brows perfectly so maybe someone that has the same brow shape as me can kind of relate um but yeah girl my my, my brow routine is so like so basic but what I will say is I don't try to make it thick I I'm leaning on more sorts like more of like the thinner side um, and I don't conceal my brows um, I don't know if you've ever noticed but I'm just not a fan of it anymore I think I like the simplicity of having just like a natural brow and yeah next up I'm gonna take um my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, my favorite purchase of 2023, like I said, the best mascara ever. Um, and surprisingly, this time around, I decided to go a little bit light, lighter um, than like I've usually, like I usually do, just because like we're going for a clean girl look. And I don't think if I have like super dramatic, like thick, coats type of lashes it's gonna give off that illusion you know like don't get me wrong my lashes still look good and it still looks done but I think I just tried not to do too much um, yeah I think I actually ended up putting two coats but neither here nor there I still made it look natural next up I'm gonna take my Mac blush in the shade love rush this shade is discontinued it's my favorite um, I'm still on the hunt for another blush. I don't know if I'm ready for liquid blushes right now. I know that's the era that the girlies are in, but, um, I don't know. I just feel like right now is just not my moment. I'm still trying to figure out what shades work the best with me. So with that being said, I'm going to stick to Love Rush and I'm in the meantime, trying to find another, maybe another Mac blush. I really like, um, Mac and how it, how it works. Next up, I'm going to take my MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. The girls know that's the black girl staple. Like, that really is, her, like, her. I really cannot believe I finally got my hands on this lip liner that I've been wanting for a very long time. And the thing is, it's like, it's always been there. It's always been accessible. But, you know, if you know, you know, like, once you start working and getting a little bit more money and saving up, you can kind of, like, binge on, like, different items next up I'm gonna take the Mac gloss in the shade boy bait um, I ended up buying it the same day with that um, lip liner because I tried it on together uh, in stores and it was literally perfect um and that's about it guys I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm trying to figure out what to say because I know that the timestamp is going to end very soon, but I hope you guys really like this makeup look. Um, I hope it looks as seamless as I think it does and I hope it gives off clean girl makeup. I hope you guys really like this. I hope, I hope. Girl, please, if you guys want to achieve this look, just copy everything that I did. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Bye bye. I always forget this last part. I love my little beauty mark. It's so small, you can't really even see it. Let me stop playing. But I always like to go in with a little pencil and yeah, make it even darker. Why not, right?
sometimes I'll even go in with like a black liner and just put it like a, a really small dot, honestly. 